Every one of us reaches a crossroad at least once in our lives. Two people are about to make decisions that will change theirs forever. Follow them to the edge. Things are not always what they seem. Stories from the Edge continues with Peacock Blues. When the oxygen flows to your brain. I gotta go. Bye. Well, let me get coffee and some ice, please. Uh. Listen, I was supposed to meet this guy. Big bucket haircut, Fu Manchu mustache. Named Woody. Had some tattooed arms. Yeah. Scotch and soda. He was here. Came in every day for a month. Uh. He was two days too late. Ten years too early, pal. Got picked up a couple days ago, broke parole. You're George, aren't you? Billy. Hey, Sanchez! <laughs> the guy who did Woody's arms here. You know, uh, told Woody once he tattooed his back, he should hang himself in the museum. <laughs> What are you going to do now? I don't know. All I know is tattoos. And this guy he promised me a big league job if I won this contest. And the problem is, Woody was supposed to be my canvas. How about me, huh? I, I see your contest. You know, I was thinking maybe something religious. Like me, you know, stirring up the last supper. Right now, we'll settle for some bacon and eggs. You want to also with it? I appreciate it and all, everybody. I mean, you all got great backs and all. You know, it's just not right. You know? I mean, I gotta see some kind of a vision on it. God damn it! It's a slow day, just a hundred on the 49ers with the points. I should have listened to you, Tammy Eileen, about the Viking team. How about throwing in a blowjob just to cheer me up? That's an air jerk off. <laughs> and her daddy wanted her to be a boy. <laughs> Guess it's too bad for you that I'm not. She keeps all the numbers up here. She can even figure out the payoffs. Me, I got early Alzheimer's. Thanks a lot, fellas. Here you go. Excuse me. Yeah, well, the only vision... 
anyone's ever seen in me is a big blank nothing. Wait, wait, wait. Look. Here. I drew this back inside. You saw this. A panther and a dragon. Oh, my bad. Bartender told you. You didn't, me, you didn't have to tell me. I look. This is what I saw. I mean, sometimes I see things. I, I don't know why it is, but it is. I know, but it's all true. Look, I'm not some kind of a weirdo. I don't want to hurt you or nothing. It's just that I need your back to help me get a job. Uh huh. And what's in it for me? A masterpiece. I prefer cash. I'll give you half the prize. Mark. That's a thousand bucks. So you lose, and I get a loser's tattoo on my back. Give me this. Loser? Huh? Does this look like a loser's tattoo to you? Huh? I did this myself when I was inside. It's a story about a life. My life. soulful bluesy look. It'll come to you. The tattoo will let you know if it wants you. I'll be waiting right here tomorrow morning when this place opens up. Be here. Prize money and 500 up front. Well, I just got out of jail. I don't have 500 dollars. Look, I got this team I bet on. Look, it's in count on their quarterback breaking his thumb on his own player's helmet. I owe some people. I'm not gonna bullshit you. All I got left for my gate money, about 200 bucks. Only got one back. Don't look out for it. Tattoo me. Hey, baby, you're so good. Bring me into your hair. 
that banana on your hand. So many in your underwear, I want to be your tattoo. What's that So who's the tattoo artist? Artist. Cool. What contest you're in? Let's call it a day. See if you're funny. See that guy over there? That is XL Motherboy. He's been winning color for the last three years, and I mean like everywhere. <laughs> you know, Inkslinger's Ball, uh, Colchester, Amsterdam. This guy's hot. Did you? Meet the competition. <laughs> Just because they signed up doesn't mean the competition. Oh. Must be convenient. What? Having your breast size and your IQ being the same. <laughs> oh, a witty piece of canvas. How lucky for you, huh? Can I see? Oh, a oh, fine line technique went out with the slide rules. It takes hours to do what we do in nanoseconds. And we do it so much better, don't we, Haya? Come on. Uh, your booth is 10. And you better hurry because it starts in 10 minutes. Yeah, but Jesus Christ. Somebody just turned visual volume in here. Way up. It's a trick question. They're from Samoa. The home turf is hot. Aren't you going to go get your plan? There's only one prize I'm interested in today. These two guys over here? The guy was back to his spider whip. I had two bad by him. The guy he's talking to that's given my name. He created the Inkslinger's Ball. He's a good guy. Helped a friend of mine make it on the outside. Talk about flapping in the breeze. <laughs> George. Yeah. We're competing against uh, all of them. Well, just like these, they don't compete anymore. They didn't contest that far. We're right here. So I want to talk to them, right? Black Wave is giving a demonstration of the design and techniques in the PR group. Hey, uh, could you make it green? Yeah, sure. Thanks. It'll cost you a little more. You take credit cards, right? Sorry, just cash only. How you doing? Marvin Dickens' room? Oh, no, man. Marvin and you. Real dear. Do me a favor, would you tell him George Monday was looking for him? And I'm going to be in booth number 10. Yeah, sure. Thanks. You know what? Go ahead. You want it green? Yeah, green. Okay, cool.
George. Yeah. Remember, this is forever. Right now, all I care about is am I going to faint and embarrass myself? I'll tell you what. Play you five to one and you want it. Oh, yeah? What you gonna bet with, huh, Georgie? Georgie. Mark on me. I am. 
I'm not. You haven't even looked yet. Look, if you think that it's garbage, then everything that I saw in you is a lie. I betrayed you. I didn't betray you. Look, when I first saw you, I saw you fight your pathicide. And, 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 and then I saw your dragon side spewing fire and smoke, protecting something. But then you surprised me. Look, I never had a vision change before. I don't want to see a stupid feather. Please. Please, look. Please. So it's a beautiful, stupid feather, not what you said! I would never do anything to hurt you or disrespect you. Please, look closer. I give this more. Please, look. I see them. I don't know about this, George. But I'm willing to give it a try. Judging for best color of the day begins in, oh, what time is left? Ten to seven. Excuse ten me. Ten to ten. Good second. luck, everybody. Somebody said you were looking for me? I'm Mark Nickens. Um, I'm Mr. Nickens, I'm George Monday. You're the guy who promised George John. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. I wrote you this letter and you said that if I won this contest, that I could have a job with you. I got the letter here. Yeah. Excuse me, I have a lost child. I like kids, but this one ain't mine. Please come to me. I used my standard line. Wanted to see if you were serious. But ever since Motherboard's been winning, I haven't had too many takers on the challenge. Good luck. Beat him. We'll talk. Nice to meet you. Uh -huh. George, as my daddy used to say, the odds may be against you, but that means that the evens are for you. Shut up and bend over. Okay. Doing that. You mean Mark Nicholson want to hire me if I won, let alone if I lost? Tough. 
home. You can get your cheap now. Hey, far out tattoo, man. I voted for you. You should have won. Tell him we'll put some money up. You and me. Three thousand to rent part of the place and chump change for advertising. We'll give him forty percent of the take. And look, we didn't win the contest. We're not going to get any money. I got money. Guys are always suckers for a damsel in distress. Kind of like your stupid face. I bet on the 49ers game I won big. You con me? You're the ex con. I really think this is going to work. You put hope on my back. Please come and claim him. He's about to go and get the tattoo of his choice. Remember, gang, these babies are here to stay. That's what you did. It was really nice of you. Thanks. Looking for a job? Give me a call. Huh? Thanks.